What's up everybody, we are Gogeta, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're reacting to Dragon Ball Silver Episode 1, a Dragon Ball parody by Kashin Payne. Well, don't think it really is a parody, I think it's more like a fan series this time, but you never know with Kashin Payne, because a lot of it is fucking weird, but he is a good animator, so I'll give him that. Anyway, let's click play and see what happens next. Here we go. Alright, so we got the intro and... Oh, so... Old, not Ultra Instinct Silver Rated Goku or something and... Okay, I'm getting a little bit confused. Alright, Dragon Ball Silver. Episode 1 by Kashin Pain. Let's go. Alright, Episode 1. Uh, said it a bit misplaced. Universe 1 somewhere. Did we, did we see Universe 1 in the Tournament of Power? I can't remember for the life of me. Huh. We probably did, probably didn't, we probably got raised early. You never know. Alright, so, is this the... Oh, so we got Angel Staff. Who's this now? Oh, oh we got a new waifu character? Or is she gonna be the main villain? Oh, uh, Oracle Fish. Oh, Oracle Fish. She, why, why is she smoking? Oh, she's, she's voiced by Bola Bunny, so that's pretty cool. I saw it in my visions. It will rise in Universe 7 very soon. Oh, another oh, prophecy. Really? How many prophecies are there? It's been a long and why are her legs so skinny Seth compared to her arms? It looks like What's going on? Warrior prophecy will finally and is that her angel staff or is the angel her universe dead? wait to face Yamoshi's champion. <sighs> How many emotions are there? And... Yamcha, what's up? No. Why did no. You scream? No. I did it that again. would never happen. You no. Pants? This is probably just Yamcha's dream or something. I had that nightmare again. Again? I thought that if I turned into Bulma and slept with you, you would sleep better. Oh god, don't tell me that. Ooh. It doesn't work. What the apparently. fuck? Every Why? night she appears in my dreams. Why the fuck would, would you do, do that? Woman? She I mean, me. is poor as a girl or a boy? And she fucking don't know. So that the prophecy can and come oh, true. oh, oh don't tell me this. This legend oh, has something to do with Yamcha. Okay. Another one? And where would you have read it? On Wikipedia? Where else? Oh, oh but remember, we Wikipedia, Wikipedia could be edited at any time, so you never know what's real and what's not. I could not sustain it, and for this, he got rid of it. I actually, actually want to see Yamoshi in the actual show. Like, they always keep alluding to him, something like that, but, but they never, we never see him. Then the only thing calls was when Yamoshi talked to Goku in Battle of Gods. The power will awaken in the Chosen One only when the Red Moon rises. Yeah, I don't get it either, guys. What are we talking it's confusing about? the hell out of me. Why do we need so many legends? You see, I have been informed by the God of Destruction of Universe One. That his most powerful warrior intends All to right, visit then. this planet, just to face the saying of prophecy. Awesome! So why is it here in his boot saga outfit? Or is crazy hair like, is like, Don't speak right like you're the monkey prophecy. Like that? I don't know. You need the red moon to prove it, and I don't I'll see that in the sky. Outfits. Actually, there is. Yeah, okay, you seem to forget that we can predict anything. Well, I don't what's see any changes. What about you, Kakarot? Or is that Red Moon linked to whatever Yamoshi's Kakarot? Silver 8 thing gonna be? Kakarot. Oh, don't tell me Goku's gonna turn into Silver Grape. Alright. Cause that would be fucking weird. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. There's the Grape. Kakarot, aren't you okay? Yeah, I do not know. You should know what a gradient is. Turn it into one. Before. Okay. Ah, uh, so we find Why are his pants shredded? I don't... Shouldn't his pants be shredded or something? Or... Because that usually happens with gray apes, don't they? To be continued. Okay. Alright, I will give Kashin Pain lit. That was actually pretty good. I was expecting something like some fucking weird shit, but that was actually pretty good. I'm actually excited for episode 2 now. Okay, so that was today's reaction video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And if you do, make sure you like, share, and subscribe.
As always, I've been Gogeta, and I'll see y'all.